Welcome to Board Ghost, a story broadcast with games as the engine. If living is a highway, then heaven is a bus stop. Been waiting for a minute there, but has it been forever? We believe you're out there, hungry for stories for shared experiences. We can't see you, can't hear you, yet we will play for you. This night's offering is a continuation of our game of Downfall in the world of many goodly things. To find out how the game is played, take a listen to our Downfall episode primer, and to kind of see how we got to where we are, go listen to the previous episode, because this is a whole lot of world building. That's kind of part one, and we're going to get into the story here in part two. I'm one of your humble players, John Holt, with me. Ken Breeze. Hey, everybody. How's it going? And? And I'm your not-so-humble player, Jocko (laughs) Farino. Hi, everyone. Before we get into the characters, kind of give them a little, kind of all come up with, like, this is the... This is the voice. The voice for the character. So we do one voice for each character. That way, when it passes to you, you kind of have your take on the voice? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, how is Racine? Racine is going to be very matter of fact. She's going to be talking like this a lot. She's going to be like, yes, yes. She's going to be sort of a little condescending, I think, but uh, but but mostly like just very matter of fact. So I think that is she brusque or I think she is a little brusque. Yeah, she's mm. got places to go, things to do. She's All sort right. of like an action adventure hero, where she quips, nothing gets kind of wry th- through her. Yeah, wry. Nothing gets through her right. tough exterior. All right, give us give us a taste. She would say, of course I'm going to win this race, and you're going to eat my dust. All right, so Great. here's my go on it. Have you even seen the sandstorms out there? What are you thinking? I'm going to say, of course I checked my magnet lines. What do you think, I'm an idiot? I mean, I'll go next with Screed Sulfur Burst. Like, burr, 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 burr. It could be kind of like barking a little bit. Yeah. All right, so he's kind of barking, so he's like, see, come on, listen, girl. Yeah. You're never going to find your... Direct route. I'm going like that. That's not skip racing. That's madness. Give it your go, Jaco. Let me see. Um, I told you you got to cut four minutes off your run, Rusty. <laughs> four <laughs> parsecs. Four <laughs> parsecs. That's good. Uh, that's good. Uh, okay. That's a trap. Nailed it. <laughs> Done. Uh-huh. What's Sir Will? Mm, I think Sir Will sort of talks through his nose a little bit. Uh, and looks down on people as he's talking to them. And there's a little bit of that honey to it. So he would be like, Racine, darling, do you have to spend all of your time with that old dust mop? Sir Will would be like, I'm here to find out the truth of the matter, and I expect it to be promptly taken care of. Racine, have you seen my overshirt? <laughs> it seems much shorter. My nipples are showing. All right, so now we're going to get into actual gameplay. I know. We've kind of I've kind of gone ahead and doled out our characters. Perfect. Great. So Ken is going to start as the hero. I'll <clears throat> start as the pillar and Jocko will start as the fallen. Great. Two of two clans have combined some designs and some sensibilities in their art, in their architecture of how they design things, okay. right down, and they've they've actually combined them into two skiffs, and they're getting an that's they're creating that's creating that's an good. unfair advantage yeah. potentially yeah. in their yeah. with with this combination of their architecture. Then I'm going to set the scene immediately. The scene that I'm going to set is between our hero Rancine and her coach. Screed sulfur burst. Uh, Racine is uh, in the hangar with her coach. They've been working on maintenancing, maintaining even, the skiff that she races. Racine is, in fact, quite heated uh, about the news that's all the rage, uh, or rather the news that's uh, making its way quickly through many go- the hallways of many goodly things. The clan's pyrite 
we're going to say Onyx have started to connect themselves. They've they're starting to help each other design new skiffs that maximize the strengths of both designs and give them an unfair advantage. And that is exactly what Racine is saying. Racine is saying, um, I can't believe that they've done this. This is just totally out of line. I mean, this is, uh, what? It goes against all our traditions. I... Listen, girl, you got to get the advantages you can get in these races. Those ships are beautiful. Have you seen them? They combine the sleek, smooth edges of Onyx with the spines, the wings of Byright. It's amazing. Ugh, if they had those skiffs in my day, forget about it. Well, I mean, it's just who in their right mind would want to lose their clan identity like that? I mean, look at you, Screed. I mean, you you came over to our, our clan and, and you didn't want to lose your identity, did you? But I'm still a, I'm a quartz and a sulfur. Think of it this way. I guess. They're, it's more like a marriage. Right, and, and that's exactly my point. It's like, how, uh, who's going to be on top? You know? Well, look who they have racing it. It's Pacer Lamer Onyx. Oh, uh, Pacer Lamer Onyx. I could beat him with my little toe. That guy is the worst. Well, you know, he's not that bad. They do call him Lamer. That's a <gasps> it's a mean moniker. His real name is Onyx Jet. But, <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a good kid. Well, he got that name for a reason. I don't care. This is... We have to, we have to do something. Uh, we have to... Figure out a way to beat them at their own game. This will not stand. This cheating will not stand. Well, it's not cheating if we do it too. Well, hmm, maybe. I wonder what the Lord of many goodly things would think of this. I, I don't know. He wouldn't have a problem. You I mean, otherwise so? he would have put a put the brakes on this. Maybe. I mean, he would have he would have locked them in their mag tracks. I guess. Hmm. Something is afoot. And I'm not sure I like the smell purr, of it. Purr. You don't need to worry about that. That's just my sulfur side. <laughs> well, I've had enough to worry with about with uh, the agent of the Lord of Many Goodly Things checking out our clan, my family, in fact. But hopefully that situation has now resolved itself. Well, you got to let that lie. You know, what's done is done. Don't worry, I've taken care of it and taken care of it well. Well, you don't. I mean, it takes care of itself. Right? Somebody leaves. They cross their name off the cup. Boom, bang, boom. There's no more somebody. Yeah, I guess. What a barbaric tradition. <laughs> You're a crap. Listen. <laughs> I don't know what it actually was. <laughs> oh, you're a crap. <laughs> you're a crap, creature. I got to run my times. If we're going to beat those Onyx Pyrites, then, or Pyrite Onyxes, I don't even know what to call them. This is This is horrible. Well, but we got to practice, that's for sure. But all right, girl. I mean, it's a, it's a good day for it, I guess. You want to get out I there? I guess. Uh, any day is a good day for racing. Well, you know, we have we have a couple of weeks till the next bout. We need to beat them. It has to happen. But all right. I mean, we could we could follow their lead. We could do a combo. That is just not the way. I just don't think it's the way to go. Ah, I mean, if they're doing it, we could do it too. I mean, it's a little weird, but... I know that you want us to win and you want us to, to find the resources and to serve our clan, but I, there just is something wrong about the way that this is being done. And there has to be a line, and I, I just I don't know if I can step up for it. I, come on, this is making me angry, and you know I race best when I'm angry. All right, let's get out there. You know what? The sky's the limit. What's the sky? <laughs> And scene. scene. Uh, Fallen, you get to set the scene. It would be a good scene to see uh, Racine pushing herself, right? And 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 racing uh, this really sort of fired up uh, about this cheating and, of course, other things on her mind um, and pushing it a little too far. Uh, and her skiff breaks down sort of out in the thrall of the, the dust. She's really only got her uh, lodestone to protect her until she stumbles upon some cavern folk. So she's had to abandon her her skiff, is that right? Yeah, you're racing it too hard, 
pushing it, trying to beat these times. Right. It began to sort of literally just fall apart. On right. You. Exactly. I had to abandon it, or else I was going to yeah, get lost. Yeah. You had to bail, or you were going to get so. Flung into I it. the only thing I could do is, is it's, an, it's a long shot too to try and save yourself is to try and get into one of the caverns where the natural magnets are pushing of the dust away. Right. And so I'm wearing a dust repellent suit, anyways. And you've got um, your belly button. I do, of course, but you know the 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 dust. Of the deep drifts is, is too much even for that type of stuff. It's almost like being in the vacuum of space. I was crashed close enough to uh, uh, an entryway into one of these natural caverns. And yes, I'm there with the cavern folk. Who's playing yeah, who the, are cavern the cavern folk? folk? Yeah, tell us more about them. I That's guess. interesting, right? Because it's not either the fallen or the pillar. Uh, I mean. Right. I don't know. They, um, could, be, they could be. Either yeah, or both, right? Either. Right. It can debate. They can have different takes mm. on stuff too. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that you've uh, stumbled upon a, a little outcropping of just three mm. uh, cavern folk, just a very small group, okay. and they've got sort of a little dwelling that you've stumbled upon. Um, okay. Carved into the rock. Yep. Carved into the rock. Sure. Yep. I can take them on. Sure. I'll take. I'll. I'll play one of them. Yeah. Like the and you maybe play the more. Yeah, well, maybe I'm the more right, welcoming. Yeah, we'll explore, I'm the more we'll welcoming one, the and you're the folk. more yeah, let's, negative let's one. Let's pick it up where I'm like on the ground, unconscious, and I'm sort of waking up. I'm still in my helmet, great, my open-faced helmet. I'm still in my gear. I don't have any weapons though, or anything like that. Right. And I, I, I wake up to see the two of you. What do the cavern folk look like? Are they like cavemen? Or I think they're they're wrapped in. Yeah, in fabrics like they're like just mummies, like head, to, yeah. head, to, head to toe scarves, yeah. or with th- uh, a burqa or something like that. Yeah, something like that, but like more loose fitting mm-hmm. kind right. of mm-hmm. like yes. fabrics. So yeah, head scarves. Yeah, head and, scarves. But uh, but bi- a little more billowy. Yeah, billowy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I I don't think we should bring her in, but we can't leave her out here. Come on. Of course we can. Th- she'll be a pile of bones in it. Uh, She's, is she waking up? We have to bring her in. Oh. She's still alive. This is a what? mistake. Uh, who who are you two? You, you don't look like you're from any clan. Well, uh, we're of it's no clan. It's the first thing she says. Do you hear that? Listen, Kamer. Festoon, please. We need we need to help her. You need to help yourselves. Get in here. Come on. And uh, I, t- oh. I take you by the arm and oh. help drag you in. Oh, I think my arm's broken. Have you set up your beacon? Yes, Are yes. You, they're they're coming. You're you're in danger being here. No, you'll be. They won't find us here. How far is your beacon? It's probably. We'll know when they're coming. It's fine. Come on. Ugh, we'll get you in. I don't like this. Listen, listen. I, I did you? Uh, thank you. Mm. Uh, my name's Racine. I don't want to know. I don't need to know anything more. I'm Festoon. Are you? Oh, you're of quartz. All right. I sure am. And you you saved me, it seems. That's great. Yeah, come in. Have have you had your moisture today? Um, uh, no. If you can spare any, I'd be very appreciative. But no, really, you, you need to leave this place. If my people find you, that would not go well for you. Oh, I don't know. Gamer, I think we're okay. We'll be fine. All right. No, come in. The... The way the sand moves here, the way the dust flows, they won't find us unless we make ourselves known. We've oh. been here for long, for a long time. We're, we know how to hide from you you, you. you, you both were born to this life. No one's born to this life, child. Fool. You both once were of of us then, of the clans. All were once children of the clan. Here, take your moisture. And we have a we have like a small plant that we've that's like the first green thing mm-hmm. that you've seen. And we have it sort of around these like magnets are set up, and there's like a slight glow around them. And there's we this is fantastic moisture from it. Oh, don't get too close. Yeah, it's very you, your accoutrements would react poorly to this moisture giver. I see. Well, I don't want to uh, upset it. I, this is wonderful technology, though. This is something that everyone should know about. This is what I'm telling you about. It's not. It just takes one, one yeah. pebble. One pebble can start an avalanche. That's what I'm thinking. That will crush us. Oh, but it could also free us. Can you tell me how to do this? Can you teach me? It requires... Gamer, come on. Rain scene is very... <laughs> is, is very, very powerful and very uh, able to convince these poor, yeah. simple cavern folk to uh, tell her their secrets. First... You have to take off 
your stones. I see. I can do that. Can you? All your stones. I, I understand what you're saying. All right. Fine. Cool. Uh, Rancine learns how to... Uh, well, she takes off her stones. Yeah, she takes off her stones. But there is a consequence. <laughs> oh, what's the consequence? Without her stones on, she is, you know, not actually properly garbed to protect herself from the whipping dust that goes through. And so she is uh, sort of scratched bad uh, across her face. Okay. Uh, marking her. Cool. But, okay. And I, I wrap a, sc- a scarf I have. Around. Yes. Yeah. Here, look. And we show you that if you arrange these lodestones, we, sh- we take a sprout from this thing and we arrange some stones around it. It's these like uncut blue uh, lodestones. Right. And it they draw all of the red out of the soil and it becomes like a, a brown. Hmm. And it starts to darken and we place a sprout inside it and... And then we take two other lodestones, and once they're set across from one another, it creates light. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we go, then you add time. I, I, I Thank you. This is fabulous. Oh, it looks like my people are here. Time for me to go. But there is a consequence. There is? In that one of the people who came out searching for you is Sir Will. We can call scene there. So reflection. Uh, Rancine feels like something is out of place because of this it's almost like someone's like doping when they're like in a a sports tournament or something like that like there's an unfair advantage that's in place and she feels threatened by that and so she's trying to counter that she's definitely trying to use whatever means necessary or whatever means within her grasp to 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 forward that she's very focused on on beating the houses the combined houses of pyrite and onyx so now we rotate so, Jocko, oh, yeah. you decide what you'd like to corrupt in the society. Great. It can be a further corruption of the existing existing corruption. And again, it's it's the flaw manifesting itself on the on the world. I'm going to corrupt justice, which is that a new decree has come down from the Lord of many goodly things saying that now those who are banished will have their birth lodestones removed from them. Hmm. And that there is a shortage of lodestones and that anyone whose family, just this whole sort of panic around lodestones begins to, to, to well up where families will be fined lodestones for breaking certain rules and a sort of black market for lodestones is beginning to crop up. Yep. Sure. That's the corruption. Cool. So this will be a scene with Racine and Sir Will. She has removed all of her stones. Oh. Wow. And is trying to recreate what she was taught by the cave dwellers and and sort of see what she can do to see if she can recreate this phenomena. Okay. And so that's what she's doing. And Sir Will is coming to pay like a conjugal visit or you know okay it's, sure he's he's show, he's surprising her and showing right. up at her domicile want some action my stones are off i've placed them i've placed them in my vault in my little like <laughs> chest put them in your vault got it There's, you know everyone has their personal yeah. everyone is very protective vault. of their things i have right. my little chest where these belong perhaps at night to to rest we remove certain stones but all my stones are off and and i i sit down on the floor and I have this sprout that I've maintained, and I have a, a small pot of soil, and I arrange some stones that I gathered, and I'm sitting there, and it's they're drawing away, and I place the sprout in the center, and it's it's twisting, and it's not quite working, and yeah. I come in, I guess, uh, and I say, "What are you doing? What is this?" It's not. It's nothing. I'm. I'm just trying something. I'm trying something new. Rainsine, I, I, I thought we were going. I came to, to see you to, to, to visit you, and, and this is what I find you doing. What, what is, what is this? This, this is incredibly bad. This looks very bad. It's, an, it's something new. It's something necessary. Necessary. I think this could change. This could be a new way to use our resources. It could be a new way to. I don't know. I don't know whether it'd be something I can use to race or something to just 
get more water for the clan. Darling, you have been exhibiting very odd behavior since your crash. And now you come back with these very odd ideas. You need to be very careful. If someone were to think the wrong thing, you may be thrown to the winds. And I would hate that. It would break my heart. No, listen, this this is for, I, we could just have so much. This could be so good. I mean, even the, the Lord, your Lord, could benefit from this. Perhaps, perhaps. But you do not work for my Lord. You work for quartz. Of course I work for quartz. But who do we answer to? Who pulls the strings around here? Hmm. Yes, that is true. I mean, who doles out the birthstones? The Lord does. And more and more birthstones will become his. Don't you want a birthstone? I am above such things. I serve the Lord directly. I am his will. And this, as he uh, touches the belt buckle that is the symbol of his agency, says, this is more powerful than that, as he just steps right into the circle of uh, magnets and tries to use his belt buckle to, to knock them over by repulsing them. Yeah, so they, they kind of scatter and go, and she she dives to protect this plant, and her robe opens, and he sees that she's not wearing any stones. He says, Rainstein, you've gone insane. What is this? As he like, grabs her by the arm and like sort of hauls her up uh, and sort of opens up her, her robe even further, sort of like um, gesturing at her body without any stones in it. He's, she smacks him yeah. hard and, he takes and it. pulls back, yeah, like but, pulls free. Yeah, yeah. She but she's free. bruised on her arm. And she, she holds her robe together and kind of reaches into her vault, does the combo without looking, flips it open, and he says, pulls her birthstone into her and puts it on. You may not own that stone any longer if you keep this up. Those who are sent above no longer keep their birthstones. It is decreed. Be careful, my love. Your love. You seem. I think in this scene, the hero has, has succeeded, that they have won the, the, the race, the searching for uh, the uh, resources. They were able to uh, convert their knowledge of the cavern folks' practices and soup up their dust sled yeah. so that they can make record time. Uh, and so that's happened, and then this scene is after that. Rancine is meeting to celebrate with her mentor and guardian. Cool. Screed. Rancine, I don't know how you did it. I've never seen a skiff fool blast off like that. It worked. I, I don't know. I tried. There was just something. There was something new that I tried. Yeah, I could tell you were. Uh, you kind of glided. You had this sort of. Uh, I never seen anything like it. But I, I, I think I know what you did. I think I'm on to you. No. Yeah, I think I know. I've been around for a long time. You bared down, you centered your lodestone, and you just pow, took off and pushed it. Let me show you something. And she walks over, and in the racing case where she keeps her like non-racing clothes, right? she's got a little box down there, and she opens it up, and her birthstone is there. Uh -huh. in the thing and she takes off her helmet and unwraps her scarf and takes off her goggles and she's wearing no stones this but there is, is a I consequence won. yeah her skin has started to change color and it's starting to change from reddish to a more indigo almost bluish uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here look he sort of backs up away from you the something about the stones interferes with the dust it's not this is how i got these cuts by not having my stones on but i balanced it with these other stones and she goes to the skiff and shows him where she's placed these sort of raw uncut stones which have lost some of their luster and are starting to like shatter and fall apart oh she, no 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 i don't like this at all look what? they it's temporary i this is probably not what we're supposed to use them for but Oh, There's, do you know what they would do to us if they found out? Ugh. Nothing, it's fine. And I, I replace my stone and cover myself again and start to place my, my clan stones As on. your skin returns back. It starts to shift back to hue. Uh, this is making me sick. You Look, things work the way they work for a reason. Well, look, we won. Just 
Yeah, but we cheated. Did we cheat? Wasn't it cheating when Pyrite and Onyx combined their designs? Wasn't that cheating? You look over there. You look at Pyrite and Onyx. You look at those racers. They're crying. I know. We beat them. Yeah. (laughs) But look at their heads. What do they have on their heads? Tears. Stones. (laughs) Oh, those two. What do they have on their bellies? I don't know. Stones. Listen. You are crossing into dangerous territory here. Look, let's... Let's go collect our winnings. Let's let's get the prize for our clan. Blood money. I'll go win you. I'm going to go win another stone for my for my coffers. For your head. Yeah, but I don't need it there when I'm racing. You, you, oh, yeah, oh. Scene. Reflection. I don't think we're near the destruction no. yet. I think we're a little ways off still. Racine, she won the race and got an advantage, but she's not, fe- like, even having won... It seems like she's she's not fulfilled something. There's something else eating at her, and the stones that she got from the cave the cave folk have shattered to dust. Yeah. So whatever whatever high stress purposes she's put them to, it's not something's not right, and she's 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 unfulfilled. Even though she's fulfilled what should be her purpose as a skiff racer, and she wants what's what else is there? What's this thing that's like eating at her? And it's different. It's not the same drive to win. It's not the same drive mm. to to get something. Right. And each time she takes the stones off, it becomes easier and easier. It was almost like she was so hurt in the first the first time she took them off that you know she couldn't tell between the pain of having been in the crash and and the pain of removing them and the nausea it caused. Like it was kind of all the same concussion to her. Right. So. So now it's, but now it, they just come on and off with ease, and it's almost harder to put them back on. I now have the pillar, and I get to corrupt one of our traditions. The tradition that I am definitely looking forward to corrupting is birth, that clan lines are incredibly important, and that cross clan marriages are stigmatized but common, especially clan stones are kept when m- moving into a new clan. So that's why. Our good friend Screed Sulfur Burst is still in clan courts. So the way that I'm co- going to corrupt the birth tradition is by making it that more and more clans are starting to let cave folk, cavern folk, into their clan to try and learn their magic and understand their technology. Whoa. And so this is really starting to throw everything off kilter as people's backgrounds and their clan lines start to become less important and it becomes more important about how quickly and how well you can help a clan achieve more and more wealth. So I build out a scene. I think at this point, some time has gone by and whether she likes it or not, Racine has sort of become the, the de facto kind of leader of this underground movement. I think that she is having a secret meeting with cavern folk. Uh, I can play a cavern folk. I, I was going to say, and as her boo walks in. As her boo walks in. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to... Sir Will. Yeah. So Sir Will walks in <laughs> we're, as... We're, we're, we're trying to get you as many magnets as possible. I need more. We need more. We This is... This is uh, changing everything. Everything has changed. There are yes, less and less magnets wonderful. as more of the cavern folk move to the clans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. This is good for everybody. They're coming back home. You hear, you guys are on a skiff, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like a, it's a flotilla mm-hmm. for which, is it for Quartz Clan? Yeah. Sure. But it's meeting. like a, it's a side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sort of like a secret like skiff. A stor- like a secret storage skiff, skiff or yeah, something. Yeah, totally. So it's a warehouse skiff kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It's got a few entrances and you hear boots. Quiet, quiet, quiet. What? What is it? Just quiet. Cave folk. As soon as you're all quieted down, how many cave folk are there? Just one. Just the one. Yeah, I think it's just the two of us meeting. Yeah. Um, Camera, be quiet. The the footsteps stop, though, as you guys quiet down. And then in unison, you hear like, Mm. and all the the three doors get kicked in at once. Dudes uh, start pouring in. Yes, uh, Sir, Sir Will pours in. Kamer starts like fighting these guys, like the hand to hand fighting that they do. But uh, uh, Sir Will throws an, a glass knife. Yeah. Oh, whoa! And just right yeah. into into Gamer. <laughs> and Gamer. Gamer, no. Just collapses over in blood. She wheels on uh, Sir on Will. Sir Will and just says, "You monster! You don't understand." The trouble that you're getting all of your people into. I am doing this 
to help our people. I am doing this to unite our people because I am sick and tired of having to forget people like my brother. Your brother. Devish. There is no name. You have no brother. My brother's name is Devish. Your brother's name is as dead as this fool, as this thing. These are just flesh waiting to become dust. There is nothing here. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I understand all too well. You have never touched a stone. I don't need to touch a stone. And she removes a stone. Well, she's sort of got them in her lockbox. She takes one and she just pushes it on your forehead. He's he's sort of collapses. He's overcome with a wave of nausea. Yeah. Um, This is it's putting him out of balance. And his hue actually darkens. Awesome. He's like like a like a blackish red mm. like a shine like it's almost like he looks almost black like jet black but right. you can see the highlights where the light's hitting him is that's where you see the red Whoa. that's still there cool and there's a consequence <laughs> because he he stands and the stone sinks into his skin i don't know what you've done but i don't think it was good And she runs, and as she runs, she sort of accidentally knocks over her box of stones, and she's completely stoneless and has just scattered all of her stones and just runs away. And she's turning, like as she gets further from her stones. More and more blue. That's the consequence. She turns, there's a consequence. She turns more and more blue. Awesome. And she rushes past the guards. Yeah. So the Fallen sets the next scene. This is going to be all three of us. You've, You've run to the only person you think you can trust right. your protector Drummer. your your second father right screed silverburst screed and sir will you know is likely in hot pursuit super will and hopefully you're going to get to screed in time right unfortunately you get to screed and sir will's already there and he awesome. has screed by the throat let me go you damn Put him down, you monster! He's got him you by damn one merc- hand. You damn mercenary! Where uh, is the? Where is Racine? Uh, I'll never tell you. Uh, you you go back to the Lord, you? And, and you can tell him to shove and it she... up his ass. Kung 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 kung. What's? Screed! Screed! I'm kung, kung, kung. Run away, girl! I sm- I smother <laughs> you. I cover your mouth. Screed! Kung, 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 kung. And I I drag you over to the door and unlock it. Yeah. She whips the door open. I drop ski screed ah! and reach for you. Okay. She sort of wheels backwards, you know, sort of gets out of your grasp, um, but trips and kind of falls back on her butt. Stay back. Listen. Take the stone off. I can't remove the stone. It's, I can't get it out. Screed, are you okay? Uh, I'm all right, but he doesn't look like it. He's no justice agent. He's no agent of the Lord. He's, he's something else now. And I, I just can't, I can't handle it. Racine, you need to put these back on. And he drops your stones at your feet. Great. Um, Except for the clan stone right. that you can just see, like, peeking Pulse. out of yeah. his head. She says, these stones, and she starts to sort of slowly stand up. That, don't you get it? These stones are the everything that's wrong. The raw stones that I've been working with, the stones that can grow life, that's what we need to be focusing on, not these baubles. I reach for Screed and lift him by the scruff and pull out my glass sword and hold it to put on your stones. Screed! And he says, the world god's mad and I can't take it anymore. And he throws himself on, oh! on, on the sword. Ah, I love you, Racine. Run! Scream. As he sort of like jumps and like bear hugs uh, uh, Sir Will and um, tries, tries to pull his own daggers out to try and stab him with them. With tears streaming down her face, she kind of looks at you and she says, you're a monster. And then she smashes the stones on the ground with her foot and turns to run. But there's a consequence. Oh. <laughs> uh, as you turn the corner... And run, Sir Might and Sir Eyes grab you. And Sir Will, wiping the blood of Screed off of himself, comes up, says, she needs to speak with our Lord. Yeah, scene. it's a good scene. So, reflection. Racine is at an all-time low right now. Uh, not only is she not getting what she wants, but she didn't really know what she wanted in the first place, I think. You know, we saw that she... You know, I think that she is still a victim of this materialism in that she finds something really 
wonderful and unique and uses it to sort of to, to cheat basically to for for to to fold right back into the materialism which these races kind of represent and then we saw you know she sort of grew from that experience a bit and and, and reached out to the cavern folk though still for her own her own means but as these rules are getting more intense as things are intensifying and tightening more and she's grown more and more comfortable without the stones before this final terrible thing that happened uh, she really questioned just what role the stones have just what purpose and that was sort of a cathartic moment for her to say her brother Devesh's name again we'll switch the tradition of grief is corrupted and if as things have escalated as if you're if one of your members casts off their stone or is caught in conversation with a cave folk, with an untouchable, then your entire family cup will be taken, all the names stricken, your birthstones removed, and that that's the big thing. So your, yeah. your family will be decimated and their fate left up to the whim of the Lord of Many Goodly Things. So I think that there is a, a big backlash against the Lord of Many Goodly Things and his justice, as it were, his agents. I think that this scene is set during a big clash between these forces, like a civil war is broken out almost. Yeah. And like clans are starting to bond together uh, to fight against the Lord of Many Goodly Things. And so this is an attack on Many Goodly Things itself. Right. And Racine and Sir Will find themselves on opposite ends of the battlefield. And how awesome. did Racine get out of the? Oh street? yeah, because she got captured, right? Yeah. She so we... she was uh, she was uh, freed by uh, Cavern Folk Freedom Fighters. Cool. And so she's she's leading them in an attack, basically. On this, thing. she has her own glass rapier at this point. Awesome. And she's uh, dueling Will, uh, and she says, um, <laughs> "Ching ching 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 ching." I can't ever believe I saw something in you. You, you killed my brother. It was you, wasn't it? <laughs> It wasn't me, but I wish it was, honestly. Look at these... Ching, ching, ching. Look at these disgusting people that you will ally yourself with. These people know more about life and love than you will ever know. I don't need to know about life and love. I've got a stone now. That stone doesn't make you any more less than what you were before. Oh, it makes me much more. And with her rapier, she strikes right into the stone in his forehead making it explode. Awesome. But there's a consequence. Indeed there is. As she strikes him and explodes his stone, there's a a great gong. Gong. Sounds. And doors, you know, at the top of one of the flotillas open as the Lord of Many Goodly Things steps out. Okay. He's he's on the scene. And Racine has never seen him. So he was brought to... No. And he raises a hand... And closes a fist and lowers that hand. Okay. And half of the force on one side, like like all the all his knights, all of the clansmen, anyone who's not a cavern folk, collapses to their knees under this weight. Yeah. Then he raises his other hand, which is in a different glove, and closes his fist and lowers it. And Racine and the cavern folk feel this massive pressure pulling them to their knees. The cavern folk are falling, but Racine is able to to press through, and she gets to Sir Will, pulls out one of his glass daggers, and throws it at Lord of Many Goodly Things. He sighs, (laughs) he crosses his arms, Ah! and the the glass just folds as it gets close to him and folds in on itself and just falls as a ball of glass at his feet. And wow. he uncrosses his arms and hangs exhausted. And everyone on the field now is they, that weight lifts, but yeah. they feel exhausted as well. Yeah, exhausted as well. You've caused a lot of problems around here, child. Your rule is at an end, Lord. We don't need you anymore. This oh, world is freeing itself. Oh, but you don't understand. Allow me to show you what could happen if we allowed it all to break down. There's a careful balance that I maintain here. You, you maintain the balance of a, a herd of cattle that you call uh, and, and keep separated into different bloodlines. This will not stand. 
<sighs> There's only so many resources allowed to us on this world, my Racine. Do you not see how carefully we must maintain the balance? Even the cavern folk have their place, and unfortunately it's not here within the menly goodly things. You have no say in such matters anymore. I'm afraid that I have to have a say. It is my station. If you destroy me, others will come. You can't stop this. Oh, child. Others before you have tried. I don't need to destroy you. Poor, poor thing. You yourself are already cavern folk and will already be soon cast from this world, from this many goodly things. I think that's yeah. what I call the scene. scene. <laughs> so I think he the fallen sets the next scene. Here, we'll just make the pillar. <laughs> he seems to be pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, that's the Lord now is the pillar. Lord of many goodly things. He's tried to reason with Racine. Mm -hmm. She's tried to attack back. In all this fighting and all of this trouble, something has gone wrong. And some people around are starting to notice this sort of lilt and tilt to the flotillas, to the barges, uh, in a way that's sort of uh, subtle, but if you notice it, sickening. Uh, finally, Racine and the the Lord are, you know, having this this huge sort of philosophical debate and, and, you know, fighting and fighting off, you know, the war is sort of raging around them. And all of a sudden there's this lurch that is just completely unlike anything they felt before. And so that means that Will, Sir Will is still there. So he the is still there. Exploded. Maybe he was concussed. And yeah. yeah. The back. stone exploded. I don't know. Yeah. If, uh, I'd, He's like crawling If back. you're saying his head exploded. No, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah. He just has a, a smoking wound or yeah. whatever. And uh, your skin's returning to like... It's normal. It's normal to you. Great. Uh, Rain scene sort of like stumbles over to to Will and, and sort of looks at him and says, only you could be the will of such a creature. But you don't need to be. The stone that was in your head, it opened something in you. It, it did. And I need your help. I need your help now. He takes goes to take your hand and says, I've remembered something. And he takes a, a lodestone that had sort of fallen from the battle and he puts it um, in his belly button um, and he says, when that stone touched my head, I remembered who I was and why I was. And he whispers in your ear, I'm an onyx, as he plunges a dagger into your back. Okay. Or attempts to. Yeah, yeah. no, no. It, the dagger goes into the back uh, and... No, Will, stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> as he's and he's like the the lord of many goodly things is his gauntlets are like he's it's like he's physically trying to right the world right and you can kind of see as he does this things lilt this way yeah and the the wall of dust is comes closer as he like loses control so he's watching you guys no will and no. racine just fades into darkness unconscious that's a good scene Okay, so Reflection. Racine is, uh, I think, still very much on the downward trend. Sure. She gambled everything to try and, and sort of unite and free the people of uh, many goodly things, but she's totally been captured now she, and wounded heavily. I think that she's right. in a, a really bad place. Her her only thing is, is to make herself a martyr. Like, that's the last bit of leverage she has to try and... Uh, uh, propel her movement uh, into even more action. Do you think we're reaching destruction? I, I think this is, I think, these next I think this is the it. last, I, I honestly do think this is okay. the last one. Um, I mean, we're there. Okay, I think that the obvious corruption now toward the end is corrupting the architecture. Even I think further. that these buildings, um, these flotillas are beginning to crash into each other from everything that's moving around and they are beginning to sort of smash these identities, these these very different and separate worlds are starting to smash into each other and, and you know, uh, things are exploding, rocks are blasting everywhere, and this corruption, you know, it's a corruption more than just a, a catastrophe, it is also a, a sort of um, erasing of the individual markers of all these clans, of the architectural feats, really, and these have been around for, you know, who knows how long this is not like, oh, my new house just got, you know, 
hit by a tornado. This is like my great great grandfather's. Cool. You know. So it's been like. I think uh, I was thinking that it's sort of still in the shit kind mm-hmm. of. Okay. Uh, so in, they're oh, so they're fighting they each are, other for dominance. They're fighting. I, I meant actually, literally, the buildings themselves are crashing into yeah, each other. Yeah. Yeah. No. Exactly. And smashing, not right. because they're fighting necessarily, although I'm sure they are, uh, but because the uh, Lord of uh, Many Goodly Things is losing his. Ability Control. to keep it all together. Yeah. Okay. And things are smashing into each other. We're going to join our hero in the chamber of expulsion. This is the this is the place where the those who are sort of captured as cavern folk before they before they leave themselves are sent out, and those who are dealt the Lord's justice are also cast. Yep. Right. Cast out into the above ground and world, into the winds. The Lord is there. He, he's got control. This is like in his main flotilla, the core flotilla, and sort of the center of the thing and looks down on a maelstrom of dust Yeah, that, that at, the, at the base and sort of center of this world. Yes. That's, that's what they draw up to make their map when they're skiff race. Yes. Right. So what he'll do is cast people down into this and live or die. Right. And Racine is, in, is on a plinth with a, a few other cavern folk she's now uh, a pale indigo and you can see in this light that the cavern folk unwrapped they, are also yeah. like a pale blue yeah, yeah will is standing there with with the the no longer wearing the uniform but he has the the outfit of a an onyx yes but he's not he's not there for the justice he's standing beside the lord Right. And so the Lord is there to to pass judgment on Racine. Great. And that's the scene. It doesn't matter what you do to us. This whole world is going to come down around you, and we'll build it better and stronger. The, the world is coming down around many, but and he holds out his arms and kind of steadies, and you can feel that, that this, his flotilla, is very steady. He says, but it won't come down around me. It's because of you and your practices that this instability has found us. It has nothing to do with my lord. Everything has been going fine until you brought back your magic tricks from the cave cavern dwellers. It's the only thing that will save us. Don't you see? The only thing that will save us is the lord of many goodly things. He's right. But being a leader means having wisdom and maybe forgiving maybe we shouldn't cast you out what do you think will my lord I, I, you are being incredibly kind too kind to this one who has risen an army against you who has thrown down our traditions and our our, our our favored practices has spit in in the very face of our society you are allowed to talk you're you get to you just allow all these buildings to crash in on each other you allow families to be torn apart it is the will of the dust. Only because we have to fight you. You've done no good here. You can't have me. And she rushes towards the edge of the maelstrom. I th- I think that he feels like, um, you know, for whatever confused reasons, he wants to keep you alive. And so he will run after you. Yeah. I think Will runs after you as well. What happens when we all sort of arrive there? I, I come close to the edge and am about to, like... Y- yeah, I'm, I'm about to leap off. Okay, great. I think that the Lord will jump after you, miss, and slide and fall. Whereas Will no. tries to, or does, uh, tackle you, and you both go off together. All right. So as I'm falling, <laughs> I, <laughs> I bring my fists down on your neck. Yeah. To like get myself loose. And we're being whipped in this sandy. Yeah. We kind of see the Lord flip over oh, his way. Oh. And our, the dust and cloud were sucked into the maelstrom. And I, I kick away from you and watch as you, as you float off into the dust. There is a consequence. As you kick away, you can see that it looks like Sir Will is knocked into the Lord of Many Goodly Things, and they are sucked away together. Uh, So one more scene. Yeah, I need to set a scene now. I think that this scene is going to be Racine. I think it's going to have to be, like, the people who live above ground, like the people who live in the winds. 
So we haven't really dealt with them that much. Like say like a roving pirate band. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that's it. Like yeah, she gets picked up by disruption. roving pilot band. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly right. She gets picked up by roving pirate band and uh, pirate captain Yar! and uh, uh, obviously first mate. We should sell her. We should sell her back to Get them. your hands the off money. me. Oh, she's a live one. Yes, yes, that's and right. I use some of my judo. Whoa. It's not as effective because I'm not all magneted, but. Where? Get her. Get her. I think she. I, I, oh, I got my accents all messed up. Hold <laughs> on. I think she comes from the underground. Maybe. Mayhap. She doesn't have any stones, but why? She's got that look on her. She looks like. Mad. You. She's you need one to let of their me workers. go. I need to get back to the to the many goodly things. Ah, she didn't hear. She hasn't heard. Arr, you, don't wanna, you don't want to be going back there. No, there's not much more for you there, Missy. I have to return. Now's the good times. All them clanners, they've lost their way. Well, time for us. more than their way. Time for us to swoop in, pick up what's left. If you were smart, you'd join us. We could find a good place for you among our crew. Doesn't seem like they like you much. They throw you out into the, the wastes. You. Is what you're saying true? Take me there. Show me. We were heading there anyway. All right, scene. Yeah. So now we go to the collapse. For the pillar, you get the haven. This is sort of your conch. And so for the collapse, you get to narrate a short final moment as the haven collapses. And okay. if we haven't seen it yet, this is a time to describe its destruction. Yeah, and at I this mean, point, we, the we, hero is allowed to die if we want. Yeah, it's been referenced. Yeah, uh, I'm going to... And gonna... so it's through the hero's perspective. Okay, cool. The hero is on the sort of the prow of the ship uh, as it hurtles, and shes it's maybe one of the first times she's ever seen the sky as it sort of skirts above the, the broiling, the roiling mass of dust underneath. And she's sort of scanning the horizon for the signs of her of her world, of her whole world of this. Uh, and she turns to the first mate and she says, well, where's where is it? You know, he says, you know, it's here. It's right here. And she says, well, it's where's here. That's a piece over there. Where's the bubble? It's then that she realizes that, you know, she does see a large chunk of the, you know, pyrite flotilla beginning to bob and sway just and be carried away by the swirling mass. And she sees, you know, pieces of the opal and of her own onyx just sort of drifting. And at that point, you know, utterly alone, she sees that her whole infrastructure of her life has been destroyed, not necessarily the lives of the cavern people. And that is something that at least she can hold on to. We see Racine return to the idea of creating your own clan, but sans any sort of stones or magnets, becoming almost like a pirate lord in of herself and collecting uh, a large crew, building a large crew of people from very different and diverse backgrounds. All right. So uh, a couple decades pass, and they hear word, the, the pirate queen, Racine, hears word. <laughs> like we planned it. Yeah. Of a new bubble. Mm. Ooh that's risen in the north, in the north caverns. And she she sends her crews out there, her, her fleet. And they, they come up as a wave. And her first wave of ships is destroyed by these flying rocks. And she rides her ship hard right into the heart of this thing. And it's a clan bubble. It's, a, it's a, like another many goodly things but with ships and, and things that she can't recognize, these structures. And she, she cr ends up crashing her, crashing her ship right into it. And as she's pulled bleeding from the wreckage, she looks up and she sees wearing the gauntlets of the Lord of Many Things, a blue-skinned clanner with two clan stones, one above each eye. And she pauses, he has clear eyes like her. And he shakes his head, sister. Took you too long. <laughs> All right. Nice. That was nice payback. See. That was a nice payoff.
With that, our story ends. We'll return again with a new tale to spin to dare to entertain. I was one of your players, John Holt. You can find me on Twitter at Lord Joho. Ken, where can people find you? You can find me, Ken Breeze, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on the webs at burlingsbeard.com, B-E-R-L-I-N-G-S, beard. Uh, find me on Twitter. I love to t- talk with people there. And I just started a new Instagram so people can see my fun photos from this recording session even. And I've been Jocko Farino, and you can find me on all social media platforms uh, under my name, at Jocko Farino. And you can find clips of my work updated weekly at clippings.me, uh, clips of my writing, uh, at clippings.me slash Jocko Farino. Thanks right. for being on, Jocko. It's oh, always so a pleasure great to, to you, join man. y'all. These yeah, it's great to share this game with you. Yeah, dude, yeah, this is a, really th- What would you think? I loved it. It was really great. It feels like way bigger stakes fiasco, yeah. which I really like a lot. Yeah, yeah. So to learn more about the players and the engine in our story, visit BoardGhost.com. You can attempt to pierce the veil and contact us at BoardGhostWorld on Twitter or shout out through the ether if you have any desires we can fulfill. Please leave reviews and comments on iTunes, your preferred listening portal, and take a moment to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest episodes. We'd like to thank Pat Couples for our theme song and interlude music. You can find more about Pat at patcouples.tumblr.com or on his band's page, hotelsandhighways.com. If you're not alone in the void, share our stories. The more they are consumed, the truer they become. If living is a highway, then heaven is a bus stop. Been waiting for a minute there, but has it been forever? Don't agree with me